The Shining is a 1980 psychological horror film produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick and co-written with novelist Diane Johnson. In the movie, a family heads to an isolated hotel for the winter, where a sinister presence influences the father into violence. At the same time, his psychic son sees horrifying forebodings from both the past and the future. Plot Jack Torrance, played by Jack Nicholson, takes a winter caretaker position at the remote Overlook Hotel in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, which closes every winter season. After his arrival, manager Stuart Ullman, played by Barry Nelson, advises Jack that a previous caretaker, Charles Grady, played by Philip Stone, killed his wife, two young daughters, and himself in the hotel a decade prior. In Boulder, Jack's son, Danny, played by Danny Lloyd, has a premonition and seizure. Jack's wife, Wendy, played by Shelley Duvall, tells the doctor about a past incident when Jack accidentally dislocated Danny's shoulder during a drunken rage. Jack has been sober ever since. Before leaving for the seasonal break, the Overlook's head chef, Dick Halloran, played by Scatman Crothers, informs Danny of a telepathic ability the two share, which he calls Shining. Halloran tells Danny that the hotel also has a shine, due to residue from unpleasant past events, and warns him to avoid room 237. A month passes and Danny starts having frightening visions, including of the murdered Grady twins. Meanwhile, Jack's mental health deteriorates. He suffers from writer's block, is prone to violent outbursts, and has dreams of killing his family. Danny gets lured to room 237 by unseen forces, and Wendy later finds him with signs of physical trauma. Jack investigates and encounters a female ghost in the room, but blames Danny for inflicting the bruises on himself. Jack is enticed back to drinking by the ghostly bartender Lloyd played by Joe Turkle. Ghostly figures, including Delbert Grady, then begin appearing in the gold room. Grady informs Jack that Danny has telepathically contacted Halloran for assistance and says that Jack must correct his wife and child. Wendy finds Jack's manuscript written with nothing but countless repetitions of all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. When Jack threatens her life, Wendy knocks him unconscious with a baseball bat and locks him in the kitchen pantry but she and Danny cannot leave due to Jack having previously sabotaged the hotel's two-way radio and snowcat. Back in their hotel room, Danny says red rum repeatedly and writes the word in lipstick on the bathroom door. Wendy sees the word in the mirror and realizes that it is actually murder spelled backward. Jack is freed by Grady and goes after Wendy and Danny with an ax. Danny escapes outside through the bathroom window, and Wendy fights Jack off with a knife when he tries to break through the door. Halloran, having flown back to Colorado from his Florida vacation to respond to Danny's telepathic SOS, reaches the hotel in another snowcat. His arrival distracts Jack, who ambushes and murders him in the lobby, then pursues Danny into the hedge maze. Wendy runs through the hotel looking for Danny, encountering the hotel's ghosts and a vision of cascading blood similar to Danny's premonition. In the hedge maze, Danny misleads Jack and hides behind a snowdrift while Jack follows a false trail. Danny and Wendy reunite and leave in Halloran's snowcat, leaving Jack to freeze to death in the maze. A photograph in the hotel hallway shows Jack standing among the party on July 4th, 1921. About the film, The Shining, 1980, was directed by Stanley Kubrick and produced by Kubrick and Jan Harlan. Stanley Kubrick co-wrote the screenplay with novelist Diane Johnson. The movie is based on Stephen King's 1977 novel, The Shining. The cast includes Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, and Danny Lloyd. 
The movie was filmed primarily at Elstree Studios in England, with exterior shots of the Overlook Hotel taken at Timberline Lodge in Oregon. Stanley Kubrick's meticulous attention to detail extended to the film's production, known for its intense and demanding shoot, particularly for actress Shelley Duvall, who endured numerous takes for scenes to meet Kubrick's exacting standards. The music and soundtrack curated by Kubrick feature a combination of original compositions by Wendy Carlos and Rachel Elkind, alongside classical music pieces. The haunting, eerie score significantly contributes to the film's unsettling atmosphere. The Shining was released on May 23, 1980, in the United States. The film had a budget of approximately $19 million and grossed about $47 million at the box office. Upon release, The Shining received mixed reviews, with some critics finding Kubrick's adaptation of Stephen King's novel too cold and distant. However, the film's reputation has grown immensely over the years, and it is now regarded as one of the greatest horror films ever made. The legacy of The Shining is profound, influencing countless films, television shows, and pop culture references. The film has spawned a sequel, Dr. Sleep, 2019, based on Stephen King's novel of the same name, which continues the story of Danny Torrance as an adult. The enduring impact of The Shining is seen in its iconic imagery. Interesting facts about The Shining movie. One, the iconic line, Here's Johnny, was improvised by Jack Nicholson, referencing Johnny Carson's famous introduction on The Tonight Show. Two, Kubrick shot over a million feet of film during the production, which is equivalent to around 200 hours of footage. Three, the Bush maze scene was shot on a specially constructed set that was built indoors because the exterior shots of the Oregon Hotel did not feature a maze. Also, the maze was not part of Stephen King's original novel. Four, the film's ending is different from Stephen King's novel, which has a more supernatural conclusion. Five, Shelley Duvall suffered from extreme stress during filming. She suffered from nervous exhaustion throughout filming, including physical illness and hair loss. After the film was completed, she suffered from physical problems until the end of her life. Six, Kubrick was reportedly very demanding and critical of Shelley Duvall performance. For example, Kubrick required Shelley Duvall to perform the baseball bat scene 127 times, setting a world record for the most retakes of a single scene. What we see in the movie scene is actually the behavior of a stressed person, not acting. 7. The original script had a different ending where Wendy and Danny died in the hotel fire and Jack's body was never found. 8. Kubrick had a secret code with Warner Bros. for the film's ending, so that they could not change it without his approval. 9. The film was banned in some countries due to its violent and disturbing content. 10. The Overlook Hotel set was so massive that it had to be built on a soundstage and had its own weather system to simulate snowfall. 11. The film's score features an electronic version of the Dies Irae, a medieval Latin hymn that is associated with death and the end of the world. 12. The iconic elevator scene with blood was shot over a year, as Kubrick was never satisfied with the take and kept reshooting. 13. Stephen King, the author of the original novel was famously unhappy with Kubrick's adaptation, believing it missed the story's emotional and thematic core. 14. The role of Danny Torrance was played by Danny Lloyd, who was so young that he didn't realize he was filming a horror movie. 15. Kubrick used a Steadicam, a relatively new invention at the time, to achieve the film's signature smooth and eerie tracking shots. 16. The Overlook Hotel is a combination of several locations, including Timberline Lodge in Oregon and the Awani Hotel in California. 17. 
The number of the haunted room was changed from 217 in the novel to 237 in the film at the request of the Timberline Lodge, which didn't want guests avoiding an actual room 217. 18. During production, the script changed almost daily. Jack Nicholson got tired of the constant changes and stopped reading the script. 19. The snowy maze scene near the end of the movie didn't use any real snow at all. Instead of real snow, 900 tons of salt and crushed styrofoam were used in the scene. 